بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم our case today is very interesting why very interesting because multiple skin lesion or rashes in single baby in single baby our case today 40 weeks gestation admitted to in ICU due to neonatal hyperbilirubinemia or neonatal jaundice mother blood group O positive and the baby B positive, DCT negative. So it's admitted as case of unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia due to EBO incompatibility, for which June this work up was taken and started on phototherapy. So we're going to describe all these rashes from down to up. Down in the buttocks, this is mongonia spots. In the back, erythema toxicum neuroturum. In the uh, shoulder or in the scapula, there is what's called uh, caffeolate. So this is mongolian spots. This is in the uh, buttocks or in the sacral area. So mongolian spots, completely benign macule with homogeneous blue, gray, green pigmentation. And in this next border, this means not well demarcated border. Usually located where? Yeah, located in the lower back and sacral. But it also appear on the upper back and shoulder and extremity. And consider lysosomal storage disease when the macules are very large or numerous. Early documentation of the lesion may help prevent confusion later on in the child life. What in your mind? Color and size not a change with time and there should not be swelling tenderness or any other sign of injuries pigmentation or this mongolian spots what is the prognosis it's benign it will fade actually it will disappear during first two years of life and usually resolves completely by early childhood by early childhood. This is the first rash or skin lesion, Mongolian spots in the buttocks or in the sacrum. The second skin rash is called erythema toxicum neonaturum. Erythema toxicum neonaturum. This is common bustular rash seen in the newborn. Common bustular rash seen in the newborn. It usually appears between 24 to 72 hours of life presents with a small white you see white and yellow papules which are surrounded by erythematous base or halo the papule quickly become sterile pustules uh, but in your mind the rash is most commonly found where in the face and the trunk and the proximal extremities and put in your mind the lesion are not found where in the palms or the soul not found in the palms or the soul diagnosis it will made is made clinically the diagnosis you see this white you see white and yellow babule and surrounded with erythematous Base. So the diagnosis is made clinically and no treatment is necessary. No treatment is necessary. Tinnous resolution within weeks. Other rash is called caffeinated spots. What is caffeinated spots? This is dark brown and they are permanent and very common and very common it can occur anywhere in the body and the size increase as the child is grow and usually no treatment is needed for the caffeinated spots there is any disease associated with caffeinated spots yes attacks at lanjectasia or plum or fanconi and also put in your mind uh, caffeinated spots can be associated with neurofibromatosis, especially if there is multiple and increasing size and with freckles, with freckle under the arm and or under the groin and also could indicate underlying genetic uh, problems like neurofibromatosis type 1, neurofibromatosis type 1 if large numerous more than six and there is freckles under the arm.